Uh oh. Ooh. Oh dear. It's just catching up, it's okay. This is a buggy room anyway, we know this game, this room doesn't run very well. It's yeah, Ron, the, last time, the last time Ron experienced joy was uh, Mario Odyssey in 2017. <laughs> and uh, the since, first time since then, it. Ron's had two human babies <laughs> and not felt the level of joy. Like, <laughs> our lives peaked with Mario Odyssey and ever since then it's been a slow, rapid, a rapid, slow decline. <laughs> <laughs> Into uh, being grumpily playing Banjo-Kazooie. Yep. Here and we going, are. Ugh. Oh. Wait, are the Egyptian hieroglyphs of you? Uh, yeah, it's probably Banjo. What? Yeah, man. Are we like the foretold one? Maybe. <laughs> we're the chosen one. Cho you were the chosen one! I, I don't know, is it not like Scooby-Doo? You were supposed to bring balance to the lair! It looks a bit like, like Droopy Dog. But maybe it is you. I think it's us. Let's say it's you. Yes. You're, you are the chosen one. I'm Banjo. You were supposed to bring balance to Gruntil, though. Yeah, man. Not Destroyer. I'm supposed to find her attractive and say, hey, cutie. I remember what, what oh. was the thing that we were supposed to know? Oh, yeah. Fucking... Her favourite sport... Is... Is... Squashing people. That's... Squashing people? Yeah. It's like squashing or squishing or something. I... I'm willing to bet that. You're willing to bet it? Yeah. Holy, holy shit, man. <laughs> Alright. Uh, right, it's, here we go. It's time to get a bit, uh... Well, they've got bees. A bit oasis-y. Yeah, we can swim in here. It's just nice water. It's nice water where you can swim in the oasis with Liam Gallagher. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, You alright, mate? Fuck me, brother. I hate no. Except I really love him because he writes all the songs. <laughs> I've not got the right accent. It's a bit Manchester-y. Oh, no! You cannot be doing that. Are you me. joking? Are you fucking joking? Are you joking? It's completely ridiculous. Have you got any paracetamol? Over exaggerated. Yeah, yeah, shout out to that channel, whoever that dude is. That was honestly fucking hilarious. The Fallout Jordy is the like Fallout Jordy video. Oh. Still like funnier than half the movies I've seen oh, in it's my life. So funny, like I was rolling about the floor laughing at that video. Um so Oh boy. If we can find a, mu a mumbo token in here. Then we, we can safely eject and go. We could if we want do to. Do some world pitch. Go back. Or as long as we come out of here with one, <gasps> that makes sense. Yeah, man. So we just have to keep an eye out for a wee mumbo. A wee mumbo. And There'll we're definitely get be one. Some more delicious quavers, which we were correct about. They are quavers. Are they? Quavers eighth notes. Well, hundred percent done. All the way back. Oh in, no! Uh, all the way back in episode one or two, I think. Oh shit! There's, There's a mumbo. There's a mumbo. But I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, but you'll still have it, I think. Oh, get on the thing. I'm trying. Oh, you oh. can do it, bro. Oh my yeah. god. <sighs> you totally fucking made it. Oh, I would adore some health right now. It's an eighth note, but it's actually two eighth notes that are joined together. What? So like a. T -t -t yeah, and that's how you can tell. Okay. Pretty much. No, there's literally one there. Except I guess there's no accent. You would know if there's an accent on it because of other stuff, and there's no accent on it, so it's t -t -t. it's very straight, like ACDC. There's no swing in there. It's just like ba 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 ba. I see. Uh, speaking of uh, ACDC, also probably I need my mo choose. my most my most recent um, oh. farting out some eggs. My just... most my most recent obsession in like rock just for like rock and roll. Because uh -huh. I never really liked ACDC for a long time, and like, Fogel kept being like, come on man, they're really good, just give them a go. And turns out early ACDC is like my thing. Early ACDC? What, the Bon Scott stuff? Yeah. Yeah man, Bon Scott's the man. Bon Scott is absolutely the man. But like... When they, when he's like, going full ham and uh, let there be rock, and he's just being a little cheeky bastard with that smile, Oh. They're in the church, just kicking off and being mental. And that drummer, like, I dare you. You're a drummer, I dare you to play Let There Be Rock. And not have a great time. And No, I dare you to do it. Good luck. I? Like, yeah, it's one beat, but like, good luck doing that for four minutes. I could do a beat for four minutes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> alright. We did challenge, challenge is, challenge did, accepted? We did hip-hop. Yeah, challenge accepted. Yeah, not like that. <laughs> 
Not you never, like that. You never played eighth notes at that uh, at that BPM for that sustained period of time. Is it a long ass time? Oh yeah. It I just could... doesn't stop. It's ah, just like dude. I've I've tried to air drum it before and I couldn't keep up. Damn. Uh, yeah, I'll even wait. I'll raise the the wager and be like, I dare you to air drum it. You dare me to air drum it? Yeah. And I... not and not get tired. Okay. Okay. And I'll <laughs> I'll take a video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Challenge <laughs> accepted. Oh no! The fucking burning hot sand. Now, I'm not sure if it'll be this video or a video in the distant future, but I will upload that for sure because that there's sounds a like a fun challenge. Yeah, it does sound like a fun challenge. I will do it. There's I'll definitely um, do it. There's honeycombs in the last level that we missed too. Really? Yeah, there's at least two of them. Wow. In every level, I think. In it what? So we could like go on a, a wee honeycomb rant. That uh, looks like a dirty mosquito beetle thing. I'm not here for it. Nah. If that thing flew in your window, you'd be having a shite like. <laughs> you'd be having a shite. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be kicking in your underpants. Be kicking your panties like. Right. We need the shoes, right? Yeah, man. I'm looking for the molehill. We need the mumbo. There we need the is. shoes. We need all sorts of stuff. We've got the mumbo. No. We got the mumbo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These are the running shoes, beat your wears on a scrawny feet. <laughs> to make her re run real fast, eh? Limited time. Watch out for Lee if he sees you with a drink. Yeah, I don't know. Bubbles. Bubbles. You know, uh, Bubbles has like. Uh, pro the actor has like a problem with his jaw. No doubt. From like gurning that voice out for however many years. The same thing happened to the guy who played not Mike Myers in in fucking that movie that Mike Myers is in. <laughs> you know the one. Fuck. He's, the, the guy's called Garth. The character is called Garth. Oh, uh, yeah, Wayne's World. Yeah, fucking Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Yeah. He totally sued the company who made that after two, I think. When because I, when his I shave, face I look, was fucked. When I shave, I look like Garth. <laughs> Not with short hair now, surely. Not with short hair, but when I had long hair, I shaved, I looked like Garth. Oh, I know where the shoes are. They're up here. They are up here. Yep. Yep, that's up a something. You ready to go really fast? Hell yeah. Fuck. Rolling around Camera. at the speed of sound. Now we should be able to get up here real good. I want to see a race between Kazooie with those shoes and Sonic. I still think Sonic would win. He probably would. Sonic though. can go real fast. It could be quite competitive. Or like Mario with like a power up versus Banjo. I'm not going to make this. As a solid fight. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Oh my god. Can we get a replay on, Fuck. The, on that? Oh. Disastrous. That was brutal. You got it, man. Yeah, man. Still not got one jiggy. Come on. So, I'm thinking at some point if we continue on our N64 adventures, because I'm enjoying them. <gasps> that trying to beat Ocarina of Time sounds like a challenge, but I'm here for it. Is there not a really ridiculously bullshit about that game? No, that's Wind Waker. Alright, okay. Uh, Ocarina's like. It's one of those games, like, if you know what to do, then it's alright. Oh my god. Dude! Um, and I, I used to not know what to do, but now I know what to do up till a point, and I'm willing to uh, get the book out, so to speak. Oh on no. The old walkthrough. Right. It's kind of bullshit that it, like, runs you out of time while it's paused like that. Like, you stood on the thing and then it was like, it just kept burning, like, seconds. Yeah. That's just, not fair. No. It's bullshit. This looks very difficult. Oh my god, dude. Get in! No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, you totally made it as well, like, the first time. I, I know, choked. I choked so hard. Can we get, like, a second replay that's sadder? <laughs> Just, like, just, slightly, <laughs> just slightly more upset. Uh, this fucking game. 
Yeah, like you start a timer and then it like it just, just stops going. you from engaging. Right, like just let, let me, me run. Go. I don't need the cinematic. I've done it before. Go, come on, Kazooie, run, run with those fucking shoes. Come I got, on. I gotta say, I think Sonic would make it. Like, yeah, man, he'd totally <laughs> make it. He'd be standing at the top of this mountain, like you lazy bastard. Oh. Nice, bro. You did it. Oh, I did it. Now we're in some delicious water with some rotten corpses. And a jiggy. And a sweet jiggy. Some notes. Oh, come right, on. Let's not be hasty. Because those guys want, me want your ass. Oh, shit. Yeah, on the Nintendo 64 topic. <gasps> um, yeah. The, the biggest dilemma I have is there's a emulator or like a, a decompilation called Ship of Harkinian. Uh -huh. Which is like runs beautifully on PC and has like been they've taken the game and like recoded it to work on PC and like they have a bunch of like quality of life fixture fixes and like you know stuff that makes the game a little bit more enjoyable. Uh huh. Um, but then I also we could play the 3DS version, which also does that, but it's like official, I guess. Right. And looks better because it's been like the graphics have actually been remade. Um, but then I guess people who gr like grew up with the game would probably be like, it looks too pretty like that way. So there's therein lies the dilemma. As new new experience, as new players like having a new experience of that game, do we go for the one that looks <clears throat> like an N sixty four version but runs nicer? Or one with updated graphics. Now that is a conundrum. Uh, I am not sure, my guy. What would you recommend? You've played the game. I have never had the pleasure. I don't know. I guess I'll... Uh, we don't really have enough of an audience to put it out there, like, vote on it. But if we did, that's what I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good option. To so, like right. the 20 people out there, which version of Ocarina of Time should we play? Oh, come on. Or should we play the N64 original with like 15 frames a second? And just... Why would you even say that? Because <laughs> we could do it on the hardware and it would look terrible. It would look so bad. <laughs> By the way, Banjo can hold his breath for a feckin' long time. Yeah, he's a bear. He's not got like puny human lungs. <laughs> Big boy lungs. Like Mario, like would be drowned. Oh, he'd be dead by now. Easy. So the secret to that, if they were to have a battle, uh, Banjo would want to hope that he could drag Mario into deep water. Yeah. Because otherwise, I think Mario's kind of got his number. Like the plot armor of Mario would just kick would Banjo's just, ass. I feel like the, there's too many crazy mushrooms that could be available <laughs> at any given time. <laughs> That turn him massive or whatever, yeah. Put on like a pair of Cubensis lenses and just fucking <laughs> like laser destroy him. Like uh, like oh, Superman, God. he would just like burn him out. It's a fair, fair thing to say. And Luigi would be like, damn bro, that's cold. <laughs> that's cold. It's a cold. <laughs> bro, is he cold? Damn bro, it's a cold. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! My brother! <laughs> You're gonna go down for a manslaughter! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we need to get you the best of lawyer! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the angry bees! Would you like a carbonara for the sale? <laughs> <laughs> Not the bees! Not the bees! Right, where to now, my guy? What's, uh, what's no, cracking? Uh, what I, I don't know. We've got a plan? No. I am running aimlessly. How many J... What was... What was the... What's the fucking... What's the objective of this land? I don't know! We usually have, like, a pretty clear objective. Like, you, you talk to a thing, it tells you stuff. Is this just like, nah, good luck, bro? It looks like it, doesn't it? Yep. Well, we got the shoes. The shoes will appear in another level now. Yes. I think maybe we could just bail on here, to be honest. Dude, are you, are you fucking... are you crazy? Okay, let's not bail. 
Are you fucking crazy? This is yeah, back I'm, there, man. I'm bananas. Dude, that's nuts. I go Joey bananas. That's some really crazy talk. I start throwing melons around in the bath just for fun. <laughs> there's a mumbo. Oh, there's a mumbo. I just like to paste the walls with like honey and then just crack a wasp's nest in there and <laughs> roll around in it and like go look at me man, how wild am I? This guy wants none of your business. No, he definitely wants to talk to me. Well, maybe you need to go stand on the thing and talk to him. I don't know. Yep. Yeah! By those. Oh, he's got a cold, mate. He's got a nose. Do you need to smash into his nose when you're flying? No. You need to throw an egg up there. I think so. That'll help. That'll help blo uh, unblock his congestion. <laughs> so, if you've ever got a blocked nose, Ah, oh, the other one. The other one. Yeah. What you need to do is pop an egg up each nostril. Absolutely. Um, and deeply inhale them. Oh. And that will save your congestion. You preferably get a bear with, uh, with bird a bird in his, with my bird in his back. Get the bird to swallow the egg. And then shoot and it. Regurgitate it. And shoot it like a, a catapult into your nostril. And you won't need any Sudafed. After nope, that. none at all. No, uh, what's that? You won't need a lime what's, what's the stuff you rub on your chest? What, Vix? Vix, aye, no vapour rub, that's it. None of that. Just eggs. Yep, just raw eggs right While you're those. eating your omelette. <laughs> that you can make. <laughs> yeah, and your pancakes. And your pancakes. I love the eggs. And all the delicious desserts, like custard and creme brulee and all the stuff that you just couldn't have without eggs. Absolutely. I'm here for it, man. Eggs are the fucking best, man. They are. I've been trying to. I'm. I'm like psychologically preparing myself for attempting to learn how to make proper French omelettes, like, because I've just never done it. Proper French om. What's the difference? Uh, it's like like an omelette. Omelettes like like our American or a Spanish omelettes like kind of fully cooked, but like a French omelettes like you roll it while it's still a little bit loose and then like very gently create this little roll and it's got like scrambled egg in the middle, kind of. Oh. Um, it's a very delicate process, but you can achieve that using just a pair of chopsticks. Excuse me? The French yeah. use chopsticks to cook? No, but like, the the Asian street food people do, do and they do it just as, just as well. You and know? they call it a French... Well, it's, it's the same technique. You could use a spatula if you want. Oh. It's all the same thing. Okay. It's just ro like rolling the eggs, like some people prefer your two chopsticks to like kind of pinch it <gasps> and like fold it and some people prefer a little a little spatula fair uh, and I guess the trick is like not too much cheese I actually yeah, have a series of reasonable. snapchat videos explaining to a group of friends how I make such banging omelettes is it under the grill? Uh, I do the first half like I gently cook the bottom of the omelette yeah. uh, in a frying pan, like like a, you know, just just in a frying pan, and then uh, after the bottom is just solid enough to like lift with a spatula, I chuck the rest of it under the grill with like some extra cheese, and like I layer the cheese through because it's cooking slow in the frying pan. You can like wait until the very bottom of the omelette's cooked, and then you can yeah. chuck some cheese on. And then that'll like sink into the egg. Not too much cheese, but just a bit. And then you can like, you know, layer the omelette with cheese and egg. And end up with some really fat fat omelettes, fat juicy cheesy omelettes by the end. I think um, the moral of the story right. is anyone who rushes eggs is a fool. Yeah, don't rush eggs. Give them their time. They need time. And eggs continue to cook once they're out the pan. But yes. only for a moment. Yes. They have to be almost cooked before you take them out. Yes. Depending on what kind of thing you're making. Yes. I'm really fussy about egg yolks, man. Like. Yeah. Like I, I don't like, like a cold egg yolk or that. Like. Oh no, I don't like cold. Or like when you like bite into one and it just pisses everywhere. It's like nah. There's got to be like there's a there's like somewhere between that and like jammy like medium egg that's like really really good. Like where it's just started to form on the outside of the yolk and that. Yeah, that's why you splash the oil on the top of the egg yolk as you're 
That's why you baste your, your fried yeah, eggs. Yeah, you baste them with the oil and it cooks the top of the egg just that little bit. The yolk and that makes it go blue. You make that yolk go blue, you make a good fried egg. Yeah, that's true. That's what you want. That's a reasonable egg powder. I wonder if uh, I wonder if Kazooie is good at making omelets. <laughs> shits one out and goes, "That'll do breakfast." Yeah, bre <laughs> that'll do breakfast. Breakfast. There's breakfast and there's breakfast. Which one are you? Are you a breakfast or a breakfast kind of guy? I'm a breakfast kind of guy. I feel I'm... like you have to be like a grandparent to call it breakfast. Breakfast. Like, Get your breakfast! That, that's like that Edinburgh accent, it's like, not a restaurant, it's a restaurant. A restaurant? You go to the restaurant for breakfast, and you get a... Oh no! You don't, you don't, get, a, uh, you don't get a caramel latte, you get a caramel. Caramel. So you get, can I get a caramel latte at the restaurant for breakfast? Fucking... Uh, and you say each instead of H. And you say H. Or itch. Or Jai I, instead of J. It's Jai. Hitch Jai Caramel. Fuck off. Caramel. Caramel latte. Restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> latte at the restaurant. It's just like everyone's granny. It just sounds like that. I don't know what it is. No, you're right. When, I don't know when it happens. <laughs> I think that they just end up like that. But you just... If you kick around Edinburgh long enough, you'll start calling things restaurants and... Jai. Breakfasts and giant H and <laughs> Whoa camera, come on now. You need to catch the boy with the Dude chicken! Oh come on. Oh mate, you need to calm down. You need to settle down, we've got three lives and one one honeycomb. Where is this piece of shit? You got like one hit, man. Yeah man. He's gone, he's like, screw you and screw your children. There he is, get it. Bang! Oh, are you joking? Are you fucking? Is it really this difficult? Joking. Uh, Is this really how it's done? Can you not like sneak up on him? Nah. Maybe. Maybe. We we only have like one speed. But on account of him not, nah. I think what you were doing was the right method, man. Uh, I need health. Oh! I could look up some tricks if you need it. What's this guy all about? Pant. It's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot! Uh, I need some shade! What can we do for, for Goldie? Shade? Can we not, like, un unleash him from his mortal coil? Mortal coil. Yes. He's cheesing. Here's your reward, bear. Gobi's off to cool down. What a guy. Ding, Is he Gobi because he spits? This is a British game. Gobi, Gobi kind of makes more sense, no? Yeah. I don't <gasps> know. We're dead. We got some jiggies. We got some jiggies. And we got some shoes. We can now go into the ice place and do some stuff. We can give Mumbo his thing and get the power up. That's important. And then we can come back if we need to, I guess. Right? Yeah. We've got a few jiggies now. Still. Yeah, we've still got some jiggies. We've still got a few to play with. For jig, for for sure. For jiggy, for sure. Doing. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Robbie about getting a picture of that tattoo for the episode in the last few runs. Did you get it? Yeah. Hell yeah. And um, he was like, "Oh, it's all weathered in. Twelve-year-old tattoo, you know." Nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, and he said he was like, "Yeah, this game's fine. You're like nearly beating it already." I'm not sure if that's true or not. Yeah, don't think it's very true. Uh, where, where, where are we going? Ice. Ice. Up. Is up. it up? It's up the way. It's totally fucking up the way. We're going ice, ice, baby. Dear Lord. Dun 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 ice dun dun dun, dun dun dun. So you can tell which version it is. Whether it's Queen or Ice Ice Baby. How's that? Because the way they've cut the bass line for that, it has that extra note on like one of the variations, so it's like dun 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 dun. Okay. Whereas like the Queen version's like dun 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 dun. Yes. So from like the big the very beginning of Ice Ice Baby, you can absolutely tell 
That is what's going on. That's what's going on. Where are you? Which is a totally off? different song. Where are you going? We're going to speak to this guy. <laughs> He's going to go shite on his head. Hell yeah. He's going to love it. Thank you for my for my poopy brains. So this is what I was trying to show you earlier, right? Oh. You can go in the thing and it'll take those no, things. No, 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 not that, not that. So, a little bit of like the game physics. Oh yeah? That you can exploit to your advantage. Okay. At I'm, times. I'm here for it. So, when you're running you, and you hold trigger, you slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, whilst you're doing that slide, you can engage the back flip jump. Okay. Like that boy. And that... Your, the backflip jump will maintain the forward momentum. Okay. So you It's kind of like a long jump from my Yeah, area. a wee bit. And you can do that. And it still carries you forward. And it saves having to do the whole, like, right, I'm going to turn this way and then do the thing and, like, backflip. I see. Yeah, saves doing that. Well, that's useful. Yeah, it can be. It depends on the... Like, the, the that plant pot with the fucking Christmas tree in it, in here, is a prime example of somewhere that that is quite useful. But there will no doubt be other examples throughout the course of the game. Consider doing a savey boy. Yeah.